Hello, Linden Tree friends. I have another story to share with you, and this one was submitted by Grayson in our class. Um, some fun facts about Grayson. Grayson's favorite color is also the color red, same as Sebastian and I. And he loves to play at home. He would like to be a lot of things when he gets older, very ambitious. He would like to be an actor, a singer, an engineer, and an inventor. Very cool. And Grayson's story is called Samson in the Snow, and it is written by Philip C. Stead. I will read the words and then show the pictures after. And one thing I thought was kind of special about this book, it says in the front of it, to anyone who is having a bad day, we all have bad days, so... That made me happy that it said that in the beginning. On sunny days, Samson tended his dandelion patch. Stepping carefully, he used his long trunk to pull up the bothersome weeds. When he was finished, he stood in the sunshine, hoping for a friend to come along. Samson waited quietly with his flowers to keep him company. Hello, said a little red bird one day. Oh, hello, said Samson, making cheerful conversation. Would you mind, asked the bird, if I took some flowers for a friend? He's having a bad day, and his favorite color is yellow. Yellow's my favorite color too, answered Samson. He chose three of his best flowers and gathered them into a bouquet for the bird. Samson watched a little red watched the little red bird fly away. He wondered what it would be like to have a friend. As he wondered, he grew tired, and before realizing it, before meaning to, Samson fell into a deep and lumbering sleep. He dreamed of the color yellow. While Samson slept, angry clouds came and covered up the sun. The wind began to blow, and very soon all the warmth of the day was gone. Snow began to fall. It whirled around and around. Heavy, wet clumps collected in Samson's great mass of fur till he was almost completely covered up. In Samson's dream, yellow turned to white. That was when Samson woke. All around the world was different from before. Samson couldn't hardly tell what was where and where was what. Every direction was white snow. Samson worried about the little red bird. I wonder if she's out there, he thought. I wonder if she's cold. She is. Samson stared hard into the blinding snow. It is better to walk than to worry, he decided, and so he did. Samson trugged through valleys and over rolling hills. The wind blew the snow into fantastic shapes. But Samson did not stop to look. The little red bird is not made for this kind of weather, he thought. Samson swung his tail and stomped his feet to free the ice that clung to his coat. Excuse me, please, called a mouse, mostly hidden in a snowdrift. I would not like to be crushed. 
Oh, said Samson, I did not see you. You should not be out here all alone. I know, sighed the mouse. I did not expect a storm. I'm having a bad day. Would you like to come with me? asked Samson. Grateful and relieved, the mouse made the long journey up Samson's trunk, past his vast ears, and under his thick fur blanket of fur. There he was kept warm. Are you comfortable, asked Samson. Oh, yes, said the mouse, very much so. I am looking for someone, said Samson. She's small like you. If she is small, said the mouse, then we should watch where we step. I am looking for someone too, said the mouse. I worry she's having a bad day like me. I worry she's covered up in snow. The wind howled and the snow, snow piled higher and higher. Samson's breathed deeply in and out, in and out. He stopped to rest near an unlikely patch of dandelions. Do you have a favorite color? He asked the mouse. Oh yes, said the mouse. My favorite color is yellow. Yellow is my favorite color too, said Samson. He reached down and gently plucked the dandelions from the snow. I found you, cried Samson. And I found you too, cried the mouse. The little red bird was too cold to reply. It's okay, said Samson. I know a place not far from here. He tucked the little red bird safely away and continued on. Samson's passengers hopped down onto the dry cave floor. Thank you, said the little red bird. She shook the snow off her feathers. And look, she said to the mouse, I brought you flowers. Oh, said the mouse, that exactly is exactly what I needed today. The three friends huddled together and told stories of their adventures in the snow. Not long from them, the storm passed. The end. Looks like the bright colors came back. I thought that was a very special story, Grayson. And I think it's a good reminder. Sometimes we all have bad days, right? So we just keep going and um, it's good to have friends along the way and it, it always gets better right so thank you so much for sharing that grayson and again please share more stories i'd love to share them with the class thank you